Hello YouTube, we got some new tools we ordered on Amazon. Both of them are Nor tools. I went actually to their little stores where I found these because I was looking at the Vernier Vernier caliper, old school with no dial. So I hope you enjoy seeing that. Uh, I get this plastic back off here. These were kind of jumbled in the box. Of course, they don't put no packing. They had this and the other thing stacked on top in the box with no bubble wrap at all. Might as well diss them for that because I don't understand them places like that. Amazon, much stuff they sell over here. I mean, they don't care if it gets banged up, thrown around. Uh, at least the caliper of the case ain't broke or nothing. Okie dokie. This says alloy steel up here where I'll take a picture of it. Okay. Really good description on this when I look these up. They say they're like a bearing steel with a CR number, which is chrome whatever, CR number blah blah blah. Rockwell hardness of 60. Well, see if I can find it. This is the half inch fine 20, national fine 20. Okay. And these are stamped in here. They're not just ink jetted like Harbor Freight stuff. There is one tap that is. I remember to show you that, the difference. Uh, see how shiny they are? Harbor Freights are dull, cheap carbon steel. Uh, I just bought the carbon steel ones years ago just to get me started in doing a little machining stuff. So I use them to clean up threads and stuff. I've ruined, uh, twisted the quarter 20 tap and broke a couple of small ones. So... These are just common size, okay? All these do is quarter inch, five sixteenths, three eighths, seven sixteenths, and half inch. The common stuff that I use around the shop. Uh, so I have some small taps where I can buy one if I was doing some special project and I needed them little 1032s or whatever. So I want a simple set. These were like 24 bucks. Okay, I did take, I know you're not supposed to re-thread a bolt with a die. But I'm going to try to get a close up of this. You can see where it took the plating off. I'll try to get a picture of that. This is a grade 8 bolt. Well, I got that thing on here, and these are tapered. Well, this is probably the Harbor Freight Junkie ones. I hate, hate to put their stuff down. It's cheap. These are tapered. That means you see where the threads don't really start, where they're ground away. So you get a good bite when you first start going on something. So when you first go down on something, see how far it goes before it grabs? It's kind of hard to do. So far it goes down before it grabs. Well, I want to see how good they were. And there was one burr on one of the teeth of this die. But so I can almost get it to go under my hand, you know, to, to where it there. That's the spot where I stopped. So I did get it to go back on my hand. So it's pretty tough. But this is a grade 8 bolt. And boy, you can feel it too. I mean, I, I worked it slowly. I wasn't going to ruin this because I have projects I want to use. Uh, these maybe these type of bolts the fine thread and a half inch bolts and to clean up the studs on my truck because this is what goes on my truck that's what the chrome lug nuts are so I've got a few studs that are bad so I may be putting this on there and I don't know how I'm going to hold it I'm not going to take a vice grips to it uh, I may take my old junkie harbor freight holder and chop the thing up for all I care and put a vice grips or something on it We'll make this a long video. Uh, nothing real special on this, but it's better than that one-piece mold to Harbor Freight thing. One of the handles is unscrewed, which is weird. One of the handles is unscrewed, laying in here. Like, why didn't leave the factory that way? I mean, it's nothing to brag about, but it's some kind of cast. It's painted with silver paint, but it's not bad. It really isn't that bad. And this one... Is way better than a cheapy Harbor Freight one. It's a painted cast, uh, really cheapy. Uh, I've taken vice grips to it. I know not to do it where you put your hands. If you're gonna ruin something, do it down here where your fingers ain't. Uh, not bad for what it is. That's a little wobbly. See that? That doesn't matter because this is actually screwed in this block. See how that's got two kinds of threads? One's backwards, one's the other, if you, if you really want to know how these work. Enough of that. Not too bad. That black whatever coating oxide. Not too bad of a handle for what I'm going to use it for. 
And of course, you get your national eight inch pipe thread. So, uh, let me pause. We've got already five minutes in this. Let me pause and get one hour so I can try to get it focused on the where it's stamped in it. Okay, we'll try that. We experiment for it. See, that's stamped in. It, it, like I said, notice how shiny they are. Uh, I mean, I can't afford to buy high dollar stuff. This one. This is what that inkjet printed. Can you tell it? You can barely read it. Half inch natural course 13. So you can barely read it. Maybe they run out when they was making these. They were still making whatever. But what's neat is this is a metal box. I mean, this is old school. This is like me and I was a kid and you got tools like this in a box. So... That was a selling point too, and I really debated whether this is plastic in the picture or not. I said, no, it's got to be metal. See the rolled edge? I knew it had to be metal. I even took the snapshot of it, and then I blow it up in my computer. You know, I'll just take a snapshot off the screen. Windows 10, you can do that. If you don't know how, uh, maybe I could show everybody someday, people who don't know how, but there's videos out there. I mean, you, you, most computer people know how to do that. You just take a snapshot of what's on the screen. Take it over to your whatever pictures thing you use and just zoom in on it. I do that a lot because I don't have very good vision. Okay, enough of this set. I said, I tried to take a couple good pictures. Let's get up here close without pictures. I want to say, I'm not bragging. I like showing what I buy and I don't get paid for it. This is my hard earned money. So, we're going to go off to the calipers. We don't want to spend a whole lot of time. I'm not even going to explain to you how to read them. I'm just going to explain to you why I bought them. I might show you a little bit uh, of how you read them. Okay, we're going to get in close on these. Veneer. Uh, there's no molding cut out for these. Like I said, imagine these bang around a box all day being shipped from wherever across the country. Uh, there's some scratches on but I say that's in manufacturing. Okie dokie. I don't know how this is going to show up. This is for metric. Now metric, when you get down the small parts, is 0 0.02. And I'm not even going to try to explain it. Here's the only defect I can find. See where they plated these over here? This silver? At least I know they're mine. But metric, I still got to learn. But you line up the zero. If you can even see that. My vision. Oh, there we go. See, there's that. Say it's at 250,000. Each of these marks is 25,000. So it's going to be. Boy, don't trust me. I wear bifocals and it's still hard me. It's like 250,000. Said so each one of the marks, like between the two and three, is 25, 50, and 75. Okay, how you read these is real quick thing here. Blowing out the camera. Is. See, so at 250,000, it was just over the 50 mark. You go down here and find a number here where the line will line up with one of these numbers. And it will line up exactly. If you watch any videos like I've searched for half a dozen videos on YouTube, uh, you'll see how the lines don't line up. They might be like just this side of the line here and this side of the line here. You'll find that exact line where that lines up. Okay. So if you got off just a little bit, say it was 250... Whatever. See that mark past the 10 to 11? That lines up with the... Like the 1, for example. Like I said, I'm not going to try to explain it. I, I can do it. I've done it years ago. I learned how to read these things. I just get a kick out of so I want to go old school or something just to play with. But I need something to measure metric with. I have no metric measuring tools. So I grab a metric bolt or something. Say it's 6 millimeter. You know... I'm going to be able to measure it. I'll be able to measure the thing. Said so I still got to learn it. All these marks are one millimeter. 10 millimeter, 20, 30. Like I say it's 33 millimeter nut. Well, I got a socket. It's 36. You know, I can bring it up there. I'm trying to look around the camera. So this is really hard to explain. Maybe a Sunday in the shop video I'll get these out. And, but there's no way to get any close. I mean, see when I try to get up close here. But 
The only problem is I see is why if I was trying to make something and set them to a measurement here, boy, that'd be something because think about it. You set that measurement, and boy, you better tighten it down because you're going to keep running it late or something, and then you're going to finally get to it. And I'd probably switch to something else. I'd probably go to my dial calipers or something. And if it's under one inch, I'd get up my little baby micrometer. So, said I bought these mostly to measure metric with. When I have metric nuts and stuff and don't know what they are. Uh, if you looked at where I bought these, they had a set for four more dollars. You got a micrometer with it. But, it did not say this here. And a couple of reviews, I'm sure they were referring to the other one. They did not look as quality as these. The logo was not the same. See that logo, that outline around it, was not the same as these. So I opted not to spend a little extra money to get a cheap little micrometer. I wanted to get the best I could get for a set of these because I'm never going to buy another set the rest of my life. That's it. I'm not going to ever... They didn't have to be cheap at a rummage sale. I'm not going to buy a set like this don't have a dial. This is just for entertainment and fun. So, uh, hope you like seeing that. Old school. Hope you kind of understood how, you, how I said how you got to line it up. Uh, if you're not exact, you're going to have to look up here. Like I said, say it was 251 57,000. You're going you're gonna to be looking up here to see what line lines up. You're going to see, say you knew it was 12 or something. You're going to look up there and see where it lines up. That's all I can tell you. I see, I keep getting confused trying to explain it. Like I said, maybe Sunday in the shop, I just cannot get closer. Uh, my tripod's about as short. Eh, I go a little bit shorter. But I can't hold them up here and do that. You see where it blows it out? But I'll try to snap a good close-up picture of this. They do zero out fairly good. Uh, you can almost cram a little bit more. Like this. I did read a review with a guy who said he loosened these screws here and kind of adjusted this a little bit because the holes are a little wallered. And uh, like I said, the other set they had for sale, and when you got your choices, when you look at these, they had the micrometer with it. It was a different knob. It was a shorter knob. It was a different set. It was not the, this set. So, thanks for watching this entirely too long a video. But this is the time to do it. Because once it gets nicer and nicer, nobody's going to want to watch a 10-minute video. So, thanks again. And look at the pictures. I never beg anybody to rate, subscribe, or anything. But... I always tell everybody, look at the pictures. You get a lot of detail that I can't show you by yakking to you doing this. So, see you later.